Release Control, first quarter moon in Taurus. What a beautiful card. This woman sitting here with yoga pose. What in your life are you trying just a bit too hard to do? What are you absolutely stuck on to the point where you won't even entertain other ideas? Hmm. You need to release your grip on life. Whatever you want, release it to the universe and trust that the universe will come back to you with whatever is for your highest good. If you're feeling possessive about someone or something, your challenge now is to live and let live. In a financial situation, self-worth is the key. Avoid get-rich-quick schemes. Manifesting mix. This card brings in a steadfast energy, but it's clashing with another energy that wants to be free. Seed control for best results. Manifesting mindset. Realize that even though you can manifest your life to a great extent, you can't control everything all of the time. Karma comes into play as do your deep down beliefs about yourself. Tune into your manifesting powers. The energies of the root chakra, Muladhara, will help you to feel safer and more grounded with your basic needs looked after. This chakra is located at the base of the spine and its color is a glowing red. Hold this card to the base of your spine. And imagine yourself basked in a column of healing red light. Then incant the words, energies of the first quarter moon in Taurus, thank you for showing me that all my needs are taken care of. When to manifest your magic? The best time to work your magic is when the moon is in Taurus on a Friday or during Venus hour. The first quarter moon in Taurus takes place when the sun is in Aquarius and the moon is in Taurus. It knows that heart and intellect are both Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you're lucky.